Hi, and welcome to the module on Copernicus for entrepreneurs and developers. These modules are part of a wider user uptake strategy of the European Commission. One of the aims of that strategy is to stimulate the development and use of innovative downstream applications that incorporate Copernicus data and services. Entrepreneurs and developers are best placed to use new technologies and build interesting applications with the full, free and open data of Copernicus. In this module, I will give you an overview on where to find the data, which tools are available to you, and where you can get help for turning your ideas into products or applications. In the past few years, there has been a massive growth in the number of hackathons, incubators and other startup focused tools. Copernicus of the European Commission and the European Space Agency, or ESA, also started a number of these initiatives, which can be of interest for anyone becoming an entrepreneur. First of all, there is the ESA Space App Camp, which is a one-week hackathon aimed at creating mobile applications with satellite data. During the App Camp, developers get the chance to create an app which relies on Sentinel satellite data from Copernicus. Then you have the Copernicus Masters, which is a series of challenges to stimulate the use of Copernicus data. The winners of the individual challenges and the overall competition receive prizes in cash or in kind, but most importantly, they are provided with support, technical, business, financial, commercial and marketing, to grow their idea into a sustainable business. Even if you don't win, the 40 best applicants of all seven challenges that make up the Copernicus Masters can receive mentorship through the Copernicus Accelerator. Finally, ESA has established several ESA business incubators across Europe, at which startups receive mentorship to grow good business ideas. Copernicus offers two types of data to the public. There are the satellite images or data from the Sentinel satellites, and there is information or data from the Copernicus services. The services provide a vast array of products based on satellite data and in situ data that deliver information such as on uh, sea surface temperature, land use and land cover, air quality forecast and so forth. There are six Copernicus services in total and you can download the data from the websites mentioned here. The full free and open satellite data from the Sentinels can be accessed by everyone through the European Space Agency's Sentinel Data Hub and by dedicated access mechanisms established by UMITSAT. Copernicus also provides access to other commercial satellite images, but that access is restricted to certain user types. If you want to find out more or see how you can access all the Copernicus data and information, check out our access to data and information module. So if you can receive support to grow your ideas into a business, as well as access to free satellite data and Copernicus service information, what do you do with them? Satellite imagery can be tricky to handle without expensive software. Luckily, there are tools available for processing Sentinel satellite imagery, all free and open source, which are provided by ESA under EU funding. This can be interesting for developers, as it gives you a large library for satellite image processing and the ability to batch process data or even write plugins or external tools with our API. They also have a great online community for any questions you might have. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you in one of the next videos.